and welcome back to Meteorology Monday. All right, since it is officially spooky season, I figured today we would do some weather-related spooky things. What is weather-related that could be spooky? You know, other than like terrifying things like tsunamis and earthquakes and tornadoes and hurricanes, but that's not spooky, that's just like, that's scary. So when I think spooky and freaky and weird, I think about how the sky turns greenish yellow before like a big storm or tornado. You know that weird greenish tinge that the sky gets? You've probably seen it in person. If not, I'll pop up some pictures here. You see how like, it's like this weird icy blue to like greenish yellow, dull, weird. It just, it, the sky doesn't look right when it's this color. And even more spooky for you, this is one of those phenomena that we don't 100% know why it happens. But of course we have some theories, so let's get into those. For theory number one, the cause of this greenish blue tinge might be hail. When you have really strong storms, you have really strong updrafts. This a lot of time leads to hail because the rain will start falling, and then the updraft blows the rain back up, and then it freezes, and then it falls again, and then the updraft blows it back up, and it freezes again, and it gets bigger, and keeps doing this until it's heavy enough to fall outside the updraft, and the updraft is no longer strong enough to fling this piece of ice back up into the atmosphere. Crash course on how hail is made. But what you get when you have these large pieces of ice in the clouds is you basically have a very large frozen water surface that light can reflect through. As the light passes through the hail, it often gets that bluish tinge. I don't know if you've ever seen light shine through like icicles or been in an ice cave or seen pictures of a glacier. There's normally like a bluish tinge to the ice. Same thing happens with hail. The light reflects through it or refracts through it and you get that bluish tinge. And on a larger scale, you can even get like this really bright, brilliant blue. If you mix that in with the fact that a lot of storms form in the late afternoon or around golden hour when there's a lot of yellow light in the atmosphere, you mix those yellow lights with the blue that's already refracting through the ice crystals in the hail, and you get this weird, eerie, bluish, greenish yellow depending on how much golden sunlight there is. But this theory with the hail is that it's only a theory. A lot of studies were done by some scientists back in the day, and the size of the hail didn't contribute or take away from the brilliance of the green or blue that was in the sky. And raindrops also refract light, that's where we get rainbows from, so the rain itself might add some aspect to that, but there wasn't any direct correlation between the size of anything and the color of the sky. But we do know that light shining through ice does make that bluish hue, so it's plausible. So that's theory number one. Theory number two has to do with the particles that are in the clouds themselves. So it goes without saying you have a bigger storm, you have a lot more particles in the air, and again with those updrafts you can get a lot of dust and dirt particles also mixing in with the water droplets that make up the clouds. The second theory says that maybe the light refracts or reflects a little bit differently in a situation that has more dust particles or more particles in general. Maybe every storm kind of has this greenish aspect to it, maybe it's all like greenish, grayish, but you can't really tell if the storm is smaller, but if the storm is bigger and there's so many more particles and it's on such a bigger scale, that greenish tinge really shows through a lot. And depending on the dirt and dust particles that are in that area, you can also get more of that brownish tone that can sometimes be mixed in with the greenish hue. So those two are basically the only two theories that we have. We as meteorologists can't really think of anything else that it could be. Maybe it's something that we hadn't thought of, or maybe it's a combination of the two theories that I have mentioned before. There's still a lot about meteorology that we don't know as scientists, but we're getting closer and we got some pretty good guesses, okay? So it's probably a combination of something that I've mentioned. Now, the sky turning greenish yellow might also have to do with where in the world that you live. There are a lot of places in the world where it's common to see these types of skies. There's a lot of places in the world where they've never seen skies like this. So maybe it has something to do with the atmosphere over the places that it happens, or the type of dust that's kicked up in the air, or how much moisture is in the air over that particular part of the country or world. Tons of different things that it could be. So a big myth surrounding this whole greenish sky is that seeing this greenish yellow sky always means severe weather is on the way. A lot of people think that if you see the sky, you're gonna see a tornado as well, or at least damaging winds. This, however, is not true. As in theory number one, we do know that hail produces that bluish green hue weather 
that eerie look is caused directly by hail or a mixture of hail and dust and sunlight. It, we're still not sure what the combination is, but we do know that hail plays a part. Since these severe storms normally have hail in them, the sky is often seen with severe weather, namely tornadoes. But not every storm that produces a tornado has hail in it. So not every time you see a tornado will have one of these green skies. But nine times out of 10, if you see this greenish tinged sky, there's most likely hail involved. So there we go. There's a spooky meteorology Monday for you this week. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so that you never miss another video like this every single Monday. Make sure you have those post notifications turned on as well so that you know exactly when we post. If you want to see more of our weather adventures, you can check us out over on Instagram and Facebook. Lately, we've been posting a lot of fall photos from a recent trip to the mountains, so you definitely don't want to miss those. If you're interested in the technology behind meteorology, we have a blog every single Thursday. I'll link that below, as well as our Patreon if you guys feel led to donate to our channel and help us make videos like this every single week. Until then, Next time, I'm Kayla. Thanks for watching and happy spooky sky watching. <laughs>